you've asked us a st statistical question, uh, you've designed a study, you've collected data, and here you have all of this data, and now what do you do with it? So let's pretend that these are the quiz scores from our last quiz, and I just wrote them down in the order that I corrected them. What do I do with this data now? Well, the first thing that I need to do is to put it in some kind of order so that I can really understand what's going on with this data. So we're going to put it in just numerical order. We're going to put the smallest on the left and the biggest on the right. Um, and now we can look at a few things. Um, the three things we're going to look at first are our measures of center. That's what we call them. And they're called mean median and mode. And many of you guys learned about these already, um, so you hopefully uh, have a little bit of an understanding of them. So I have a little rhyme for you. Add, 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 divide, that's how you find the mean. The mode is the one you see the most and the median's in between. Sing it with me. Add, 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 divide, that's how you find the mean. The mode is the one you see the most and the median's in between. Okay, so these are the three things, and they're a little bit different than each other, and we need to figure out when we're going to use each one of them later, but basically you want to remember how to find the mean, you want to find the median, and the mode. Okay, so the mean, we add, 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 divide, that's how we find the mean. So basically we add up all of the numbers. Remember, mean is just another word for average. So if we wanted to find the mean of these numbers, we would add all of these together in our calculator, and then we would divide by the number of terms, which we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we would add them all up and we would divide by 16. Let's pull up our calculator. When we add them all together, we get 186. We divide that by 16. And we get 11.625. So the average quiz score on this quiz was 11.625. So that's the mean. Remember, it's just another word for average. Uh, what is the median? If we remember our song, the median is in between. So the median is the middle number. So that's why it was important for us to put these in some kind of order because we can't um, find the middle number if they're not in order. So we have 16. And so what I like to do to find the middle number is I just start by crossing off one on each side. Um, if I cross off one here, I cross off one there, cross off one there, 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 there. And I just keep crossing off until I get down to one or two numbers in the middle. Since we have an even number of numbers, I have two numbers that are in the middle. Okay, so to find the median, either if you have an odd number of numbers, odd number of terms, let's say, um, then it's just the middle number, right? If there's only one number left, the median would be 13. But since I have two, I have to add those two together and divide by two. So I have to find the average of those two, which is 12.5. So the me median of this one is 12.5. And we figured the mean was 11 and some change. Can't remember the change. Uh, 0.625. Okay, so our mean and our median tell us basically the center of our data. Um, and median and mean tell us slightly different centers, um, but we'll talk about that later which one we would use better uh, for different things. Okay, then the mode, if you remember, the mode is the one we see the most. So we have to look at this and see which one do we see the most. Well, we see four twice, we have six twice, we have 13 twice. All right, so this one is interesting because it actually could have three modes. And in this case, if it's a tie, we're just going to say there isn't a mode. Um, in statistics, like higher level statistics, we would call this trimodal, which means there's this is common, this is a common one, and this is a common one. So it kind of has like three spots where there's the same number of um of data points, uh, but the mode is the one that you see the most. And so this one's really helpful when you're doing something like um, trying to find the most popular ice cream flavor or something like that. When we're taking categorical data, we can use the mode because it tells us um, the number of responses. So if I said, uh, what's your favorite ice cream flavor? Again, that's categorical because it's not something I can average. I can't say, well, the average ice cream flavor or the mean ice cream flavor is uh, vanilla. But what I can say is I can say, you know, I had 15 people respond vanilla. Um, and so that's a mode. The mode is, um, the number that I saw the most. Uh, so that is mean, median, and mode.